Do you think, because Harry actually went back to see him and there's a realisation with Harry that actually the royal family may need him to sort of step up, do you think there's a likelihood of that? And do you sense any thawing of uh, relations? No. Uh, in the words of Muhammad Ali in a completely uh, different context, there are two chances of that happening, slim and none. Uh, the relationship uh, is very, very poor at the moment. The king was very wise. He always made it clear uh, that his son was loved and would always be welcome. But quite clearly, he doesn't approve of the things he's been doing. And the relationship that Harry now has with his older brother, William, is is appalling. And I think Prince William's attitude uh, towards his younger brother is hardening rather than softening. So there's no uh, possibility at all of any sort of rapprochement. Interestingly, uh, a poll of British people gave Prince William an approval rating of 74 yeah. percent. Uh, and uh, it also revealed that 66 percent, i.e. two thirds of the British people, dislike Meghan Markle. Uh, I think those two figures tell you a great deal. And a recent poll in America uh, showed a remarkable result that Prince William was the most popular man in the world. Uh, according to those people who were polled in America. And uh, the approval rating that uh, Catherine, Princess of Wales, has is something like 35 percent. That's a very, very high margin. So uh, there's no doubt who's winning the public relations war. And it, it's not the Duke Duchess of Sussex in their California Camelot on a hilltop with uh, their rescue chickens and lots of celebrity friends telling them they're wonderful uh, and that they do not foot wrong. Mm, well, it certainly isn't. Everything is sort of working in reverse for them. Michael Cole, such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. That is, of course, Michael Cole.